outcome of our binational commission meeting this afternoon was that uh, we have agreed to uh, intensify our relationship, to strengthen it. You know, the binational uh, commission is now about a decade old, and uh, we have good progress, and we want to add value to what having achieved so far in the area of our social economic development that we are trying to achieve toward this uh, uh, binational uh, commission. Looking now mm -hmm. at security in Nigeria, in northern Nigeria, Boko Haram was listed as one of the reasons for the drop in agricultural output in the first quarter. There's now evidence that this is directly affecting the Nigerian economy. How close is Nigeria to resolving this issue? Well, in Nigeria, we are doing everything to resolve this issue. But uh, I would like to say here that uh, the report to mention that uh, 2012 quarterly report on agricultural production, I don't think that information is uh, correct because the, in the north, the rainy season is just starting. Well, from December to March, April, uh, we have the Hamatan period, and the rainfalls are starting now. And uh, it is now that farmers are already preparing to start growing and what have you. But the, 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 the truth is that if you look at Nigeria as a whole, we have 774 local governments. And this issue is occurring in less than 20 local governments. And the federal government is doing everything to ensure the safety and life of property of all citizens as well as visitors to Nigeria. A lot is being done. So far, we have made great achievements, a lot of arrests and what have you. But most importantly, we are inviting these uh, people to come forward. Let us negotiate, dialogue, because even wars that are fought for decades at the end of the day, you have to sit on the table and come to an understanding and resolve the issue. And this is what I will seize this opportunity to use this media to again call upon these uh, Boko Haram people to come and let us discuss, negotiate, and solve this problem. But the federal government and the people of Nigeria in general are doing everything to see that we resolve this issue as quickly as possible. Looking now at the economy, Mr. Vice President, there has been a decline in oil output. It seems that the delay in passing the petroleum industry bill is a major reason for the decline in investment in this sector. How close are we to resolving this issue in passing this bill? No, we, are, we are very close. There is a committee that has been set up by the Ministry of Petroleum, which is working hard to conclude the revision of the PIB. And uh, very soon, this will be submitted to the National Assembly and uh, this matter will be resolved. Looking at there is a move to set up a sovereign wealth fund and that appears to be dividing the federal and state governments. Are we close to a resolution in this aspect? No, that's not correct. The, the already the sovereign wealth fund has been established. Uh, uh, the federal and state governments have uh, already provided one billion dollars and uh, the coordinating minister of the economy and minister of finance is already you know, interviewing through uh, international consultant to employ the management of the sovereign wealth fund. So already in Nigeria, we, we have a sovereign wealth fund in existence. The bill has since been passed by the Congress, the National Assembly. The funds have been provided, $1 billion, the initial seed money. And uh, well, there is no, 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 no division in, on, this, on this subject. It's already done. Finally, Mr. President, are you able to give us an update on the probe into the oil sector and corruption charges there? We understand that a report has been sent to the anti-graft agency, the EFCC. This has raised hopes that action will be taken against top government and private sector officials. How, how, how far are we in resolving this issue of corruption in the oil sector? Yes, the, the, the truth is that whoever, whoever is found wanting, whoever is found guilty, by the investigation of the uh, Economic and Financial Crime Commission will be dealt with in accordance to the laws of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. There will be no sacred cow.